start out my talk. Roland Willett's Old Men's Stories. Talk about that, okay? And I've been talking now for a while. Johnny called me and says, you know, you're giving a speech today. That was, uh, what, uh, 1030? <laughs> I, I says, thank you. And I said, he said, how long will it be? I said, Everyone leaves usually about 10 minutes. So we'll just do 10 minutes. So I said seven minutes is our standard. Now, I've been traveling. And one of the things that the person in this room inspired me to do years ago is to bring song into my life. And everyone knows that is Clay Campbell. And I've been into Missouri and Mountain View and this whole area is a wonderful music place and I never knew it was a music place. And one of the things I found out is everyone, everyone, everyone has a song in their life. Now, I've been working for the last four years, I just finished a four year radio show to show people how they can create stories about their life, and how they can go in, and how unlimited these stories are now. And Toastmasters helped me a lot to do this. Now, Toastmasters also taught me how to do presents. And I want to show you just a little example of how I use Toastmasters in doing music. Now, everyone sees, as I'm looking around here, They called me up on stage for a jam <coughs> over in Missouri, in some place north of Branson. Now, I normally hide in the corner when it comes to music or sit in the back and play a G string. That's what they <laughs> <laughs> play with a G string. And, uh, and hide from actually me standing on the stage. So I had to get up the stage. So I presented a story, and you probably heard this here before, of a life experience that I brought in music. Well, when I brought in music, what I did is I noticed that I sat and I walked around with my eyes as I did this music and saw everyone that was out there. Versus most of the singers that stand up there and they will sit and look somewhere out in Nebulousville and sing. Well, I got phenomenal praise when I heard it because of how cool I was and how close I was to the audience. And it was, it was Mr. Postmaster that brought it. Now, one of the things that I did in the last Postmaster's crew meeting, and this was in Silicon Valley with a bunch of super technicians from around the world, and there was about 20 of them. And I had my green screen. My green screen sets up like this. Every, you know, most of the people have seen it. And what I did is I brought all of them up. And I had them sing. Have you seen what I've seen? And that's all I had them do. I brought each one of them up. And there were some that were sort of scared and they went back. One of the last came up in front of the green screen. Have you seen what I've seen? And each one did an adequate and good job. So right now I'm bringing all these back in, and I'm bringing them back to my into my shop, which is my computer, and I'm creating a decoupage type thing where I where all these people are in it, and they and they they can bring out the same thing now. What we're doing next is, in all my stories, is to create a video. And I'm going to create a video for each one of the 208 stories that I did on radio. Each 208 subjects, excuse me, not stories, subjects. And bringing in music with each one of them. And the reason for it is to give time back there. By the way, how are we doing for time? 
Most people don't do music, do they, Clay? Mm, most people don't. Yeah. Clay has, Clay, if you talk to Clay, he has 10 billion people coming around for music to, for him, but there aren't that real, there aren't that many, because I go out to shop for them. There aren't that many that really do that. And what I would like to bring to the world is to be able to 